welcome back to the YouTube channel, everyone. So being a Power Ranger, I get asked a lot to do a backflip because it seems that everyone thinks Power Rangers should do backflips. So let's actually learn how to do a backflip on this video from a parkour expert, my buddy, Dylan Titano. Where is he? All right, guys, I'm right here. Cool. So uh, Dylan's gonna teach you guys how to do that safely. So <laughs> how do you do a back tuck? Back tuck, back flip, same thing. Uh, well, for starters, you jump. Hmm. And then you flip. Makes sense. Yeah. There you guys go. All right. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Comment so. below. Yeah. So a little bit more in depth would be you want to squat. Mm. Right. Not not a full squat. You don't really. It's so not, not like. No. Yeah. We don't want like. It's not like a weightlifting squat. A quarter squat is very acceptable here. Uh, as a matter of fact, you really don't want to go lower than a quarter squat. So. This is about as far as I go. Shoulder width apart, are they legs or do you do feet together? What's your deal? I don't recommend going too far outside of shoulder length. Mm -hmm. yeah, if you're really far outside of your shoulder or your hip length, it just makes it much harder to jump. So some people like to go shoulder length apart. Some people like to be toes together and like really tight, you know, preference. Efficiency. Efficiency. Mm -hmm. yeah. From that quarter squat, mm -hmm. you want to bring your arms all the way back, yeah, as far back as they can go. Uh, if they can only go this far, this is fine. If they can only go this far, this is fine. Next step, after our arms are all the way back, we're going to swing our arms forward. Notice I haven't moved my legs yet. And then right as I start to reach my hands up towards the top, I'm gonna try to straight body all at the same time. I'm gonna go straight legs and straight arms above my head all at the same time into my jump. We're going to bring our knees up to our arms. We're going to grab our, our shins and tuck our chin in. And this is where the actual flip happens. This is where people will either fall or not. Mm -hmm. So this is gonna be a huge fear thing. So if you have any mattresses, a pool, a trampoline, foam blocks, or something that you can lay down, anything that you can use to soften your landing. <laughs> After you start to flip, you're gonna try to spot the floor release your legs and reach your feet to the floor. Don't just wait for the floor to come to your feet. So we're not cannonballing into a pool, essentially. Not, not at all. You don't want to, and stay tight. There you go, See, I can yeah. teach parkour too. Uh, well, that's, that's pretty much it. So a few, oh, cool. a few of the common mistakes that people tend to do is they will throw their head back, mm. they'll arch their back too much, or they'll push their hips forward. Mm. Um, now this causes a few different issues here. If you throw your head back, your body follows your spine, your spine follows your head. So when you throw your head back, you're not getting as much air as you can. So uh, let's, uh, you, you look like you flip sometimes. So show us throwing your head too much. If you notice, when he threw his head back, he just completely arched his back inside his backflip here, and that's cutting out his height. The other thing is when we push our hips forward, that causes us to travel forward doing a gainer, and that's not the skill we're looking for. That is a forward traveling back tuck, correct? Yes, yes. All right, uh, show us, we talked about a gainer where you back tuck going forward. Oh, see, he traveled forward as he flipped backwards, which is like a paradox, but it happens. I guess one of the other common issues is not pushing fully through your knees. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the times, some people will, when they jump, they actually stop here and start to go for the flip right away. That'd be a low flip. Extremely low, instead of pushing through your toes with straight knees and your hips underneath your belly button. And I've seen people, myself included when I was learning, maybe even still now occasionally, not reaching all the way up. Yeah. People just kind of forget about their arms and then just throw the tuck. Well, there's a back tuck. All right, two things. So queso um, is cheese in Spanish. So whenever you start a sentence and you say queso, just realize you're saying cheese in Spanish. Second, I'm gonna throw a back tap in there. Dylan's gonna spot me. It's not funny, it's factual. Nope. So just throw a back tap? Yeah. Just I got jump you. and tuck? Yep, just jump All and right. tuck. Alright, tuck and jump? No, jump and tuck. No, you can tuck and jump. I feel like that I got you. Good. I'm gonna correct you right now. Okay. Ready? Yep. Ha! Cool. I think you could have ridden your jump a little bit longer. Okay, so wait. Okay. If you already have a really bad habit of throwing your head back, I recommend looking at the floor. Mm -hmm because this way if you do throw your head back, you're already down here, so you throw your head to a neutral position. Makes sense. Just learning, then the best thing would be to look straight ahead. The idea is that you just want to keep your head in a neutral position. Should I go one more? Yeah, let's do one more. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you when to flip. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Flip. 
whoa, that was high and scary. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my heart's on this side, but you know, <laughs> I can't remember anymore. <laughs> Should we all just back talk to end this video? Three, two, one. It's good. If you like this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Make sure to comment below because it boosts the algorithm. I actually don't know what that means. To do it, to help it and make us popular.